Folks, Rooster in Tennessee. Uh, radio that we're looking at is a rough condition Uniden PC78 XL. Radio is made in the Philippines. Uh, it is in rough shape, just to be up front. It is a functioning radio, but it is in rough condition. Um, it's basically got all the features of like a Cobra 29 LTD Classic. It is AM only. Uh, meter light is out. Meter does work. Um, it's got some corrosion on the back, which I'll try to show you here in a second. I also didn't think this radio would work. Um, so you got the rusted screw there. It's it's had it's been sitting in a damp area or something. I don't know. Um, but kind of the the point, you know, of doing a vid video on this radio, kind of as a little side note, I guess you'd say is uh if you had a radio that was built today that was in this kind of shape and had been uh, exposed to these conditions conditions rather excuse me um you're going to have a, a non-working radio and i don't care who built it um the radios today are not made like they used to be uh that's why i'm running you know cover 1000 uh cover 29 cover 2000 and even the old uh series of galaxies but this is a working radio, and it's been through hell, uh, to put it nicely, you know, judging from the looks. But anyway, we'll get around all that uh, BS and get over here and show you what this thing's doing. 25 watt slug, top scale, 5 watt, 10 watt, 15 watt, 20, 25 watts. Um, we're going to be on average power. Keen about 2.5, 3 watts. Hello, radio, audio, one, two, three. Hello, test, one, two, three, audio. Five watts average. Go on here and hit our peak kit. Hello, radio, one, two, three. Hello, audio, radio, one, two, three. Kind of waving between about 17 and 20 watts. Hello, you can probably hear it in the background. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video turn around and show you how rough this thing is on the back I will sell this radio and I will sell it cheap to somebody uh, It'll probably cost 10 to 15 bucks to ship Somebody throws another 15 20 dollars at me. I'll let it roll um, And it is made in the Philippines, but it is in rough condition. Give me a second I'll pause this and I'll give you guys a shot of the back of it here Okay, so this is the back of the radio it does have corrosion you can see uh, it's been wet or been in a damp area but it works um, it does receive I'm not sure how well it receives uh, the only way I tested the receive is I uh, I just unplugged the coax out of it hooked another radio up to the dummy load and keyed it on the uh, same channel and it received but uh, that's it Let's see made in the Philippines and now there's a gentleman who tried to argue with me the other day, and he said, oh, all those Unidens were made in the Philippines. Not necessarily. Uh, some of these were not made in the Philippines, actually. They were made in China, so this one is a Philippine radio. Like I said, I think you'd be looking at about $12 to $15, maybe $10 to $15 to ship this thing. Um, if somebody gives me an extra $10 on top of that or something, I'll let it go, and you'll have a working CB uh, on the cheap, and you can probably restore it or... Or whatever because uh, you know fixed up it would be a good talking radio probably a uh, 75 80 radio maybe but I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, 73s bye bye